One of the places we've been hearing about at Big White is the Globe Cafe and Tapas Bar. Join Angel as she shows you what's special about this unique place. I'm going to get a hot chocolate from this guy over here. He's kind of cute. <laughs> Morning, how are you? I'm doing fine, good. How are you? Well, thank you. Yeah, how can good. we help you today? Well, I want a hot cocoa. Oh, okay. Certainly. Hot chocolate on the way. Ultimate? Yeah. Yeah, may with, as well. With speed, yeah. When you run, certainly. The staff at the Globe were unbelievably warm and welcoming, and I couldn't help but notice Angel just drooling as this most spectacular hot chocolate was prepared for her. It was a real treat for us to be hosted by Jude and her team at the Globe, and there certainly was an awful lot to find out and experience about this fantastic little tapas bar. You'd really enjoy trying this. In fact, you've got to try this. One of our famous ultimate hot chocolates for the lady. Enjoy, let me know how it tastes. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, you see this? This is the ultimate snow cake that every woman loves. Okay. One, two, three. Are you gonna try this? <laughs> Hi there, I am at the Globe Cafe in Tapas, and I'm with one of the owners, Jude. Hi, Jude. Hi, Angel. And thank you for having us here. You're very welcome. So, I hear so many amazing things about this little, amazing little experience and tapas bar, and I yep. want you to tell me a little bit about your flavor. Well, we're something a little bit different on the hill. We've been here for five years now. Um, we have two distinct personalities, open from eight in the morning for our lovely coffees and hot chocolates, which you're trying already, um, and some great breakfast snacks. And then through the day, we change personality, um, turning into a lovely tapas and wine bar in the evening, five o'clock onwards. Um, yeah, candles come out, the lights go down, and the wine bottles come out. So and now, the- as far as... Um, in the mornings you have your coffee and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about your supplier? I know that they're from Seattle, Washington. Yeah, our coffee supplier. We've been working with Cafe Umbria for five years. Um, we wanted to bring a really different tasting coffee to the hill um, that was more European, more in, in uh, keeping with our background. So this is a third generation Italian family that are now based in Seattle. We ship up our coffee every week. And it just gives a different taste. It's, uh, it's a rich, fresh uh, European style as opposed to a North American style. So. We find a lot of our customers like that, especially those from Australia. Now, I know that uh, I was looking around your place in here. It's beautiful, by the way. All the pictures are from all the different little places that you guys have traveled. They are, exactly. And I read that most of your cuisine is based on all the different little places that you traveled. Absolutely, yeah. The two families involved in the business, we've both traveled quite extensively. And, um, yeah, the pictures are by Jesse Kalisher, a great American photographer. And uh, they're all places that we've been to in the world. And then... uh, yeah, our menu is developed obviously in line with our great chefs, but uh, very much in line with the places that we've travelled to in the world and the flavours that we love. So <laughs> yeah. We have a pretty extensive wine list of uh, wines you can try by the glass. We focus very much on small boutique wineries from the local area. Um, we, we, did, we do have some international wines, but we find that most of our visitors really like to try what's local. Yeah. Um, so we have some great relationships with local wineries and bring in some of those smaller winery products as well. Good for you. From your tapas, what would you put together? What's your blend? Um, for tapas, if there was two of you, I'd recommend trying three or four different tapas, include our patatas bravas. They're our great Spanish um, classic dish with spicy uh, tomato sauce and garlic aioli. Um, and our bruschettas are to die for. We have three different bruschettas, a sun-dried tomato and olive, calamata olive bruschetta, a butternut squash and local brie bruschetta, Ooh. which is delicious, um, and a wild mushroom and gorgonzola bruschetta. And apres ski three, at about three o'clock, you can come in and try a platter of all three together. Oh, with a lovely glass of wine. Guess where we're coming back for lunch. <laughs> now the other thing too is you have feature nights. Mm-hmm. We yes. do. We believe in entertaining as well as providing great mm-hmm. food and great drinks. Um, we're kind of entertaining people, and uh, so Monday nights we bring our traditional British pub trivia quiz night to the, to the hill, and it's become really popular over five years. We, you have to book a week in advance to get a table. Um, really, really fun night out, very competitive. Um, and then on the Thursdays every week we have live music. We try and showcase musicians from the hill and from Kelowna, and we've had some this year from Vancouver as well. Now, I want to get back to the food because I did read um, some of your testimonials online at their wonderful little website address is www.globedining.com perfect (laughs) and a lot of people actually commented on the fact that you actually are really quite aware of allergies and foods and gluten free and the other thing that was really highly noticed on your testimonies was the fact customer service yes absolutely I mean 
you can't have great food without great service. So we really believe in training our staff really, really well at the beginning of the season. Um, they're recruited for their friendliness and their attitude as much as their um, product knowledge. Um, but we really train on product knowledge as we go through the season. Now, if somebody came in here and said, Jude, I'm new to Big White. I've had a nice meal here. Mm -hmm. What can I go and do for fun? There's so much at Big White to do for fun. Other, other I put you on the spot, skiing. didn't yeah. I? <laughs> Uh, there's so much beyond just skiing. I mean, I love skiing, yeah. but I'm not as much of a powder hound as, say, my kids are. Um, but there's so many other things to do. There's great trails to just get out and snowshoe on. There's ice climbing the last couple of years, which is um, getting more and more popular every day. Um, ice skating is a beautiful ice skating rink. Lots of people just playing hockey down there or going for a skate. Yeah. Um, take your dog for a big, long walk in the powder. It's really fun. Um, little stores to go and explore in the village centre. Um, yeah. You name it. Good Lots for you. Big white. Oh, yeah. No, there's a reason why she lives here full time. <laughs> so as we disappeared to try a few more of those exciting activities that Jude told us about, the chefs were busy preparing a wonderful feast for the evening. Well, ladies, Angel. I cannot... <laughs> and Joe, yes. I cannot tell you how amazing this smells. I know you can't smell this. Amazing the smells and your presentation is unreal. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what we got going on here? So here we have the butternut squash bruschetta with a Quebec brie and some caramelized onion and we have a balsamic, a balsamic basil uh, oil. Here we have our tomato and olive tapenade bruschetta. So it's uh, calamata olive and sun-dried tomato with uh, basil pesto and a balsamic reduction. And here we also have our uh, wild mushroom bruschetta with, and it's uh, slowly cooked in cream and blue cheese with a little bit of tarragon. I mean, that looks fantastic. Now, where did you, uh, does your chef come up with these recipes or do you? Jointly. Yeah, we're very much a team collaborative effort here. So our chefs throw in their ideas and myself, business partners and Joe, our product house manager, throws in our ideas as well. And uh, yeah, we come up with things between us. So Joe, this, um, lovely blue flame that's going on in front of me here <laughs> and so, uh, all that fun stuff that's on that plate. So it's a big thing here at Lo. We do uh, our like homemade s'mores, so homemade marshmallows and we do a homemade chocolate ganache as well and all the kids come pretty much every day just for that. Um, do, you, do you blame them? Do you have to be like a kid to come for that? <laughs> like, no, we have some Can you be in your 40s type of kid? <laughs> so you make it like caramelized mm -hmm. Bubble and nice and brown. Oh, you guys are so jealous. <laughs> so <laughs> jealous, I know. <gasps> Look, we got flames. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pop that. Mm. 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 so long. <laughs> oh, love. I've got a sweet tooth. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> You've got to try this. You seriously <laughs> got to try this. But it's all mine. Mm -hmm. 